Welcome to WCS Money Tutorials. Today's topic is new rules for debt collectors. New rules for debt collectors were issued by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau on November 30th, 2021. In addition to being able to contact you by traditional methods, such as by phone or mail, debt collectors now permitted to contact you by email, text messages, or through social media. They must identify themselves as debt collectors. The messages must be private, so they cannot broadcast your debt on social media. You have the right to opt out of these communications by informing the debt collector. There are some restrictions on phone calls from debt collectors. If you do not answer a call, a debt collector cannot call you more than seven times during a seven day period about a particular debt. If you do answer their call, then they cannot call you again within seven days after that phone call. These restrictions apply only to phone calls, not to email or text messages. If a debt collector leaves a message on voicemail, then it must be a limited content message, meaning that nothing in the message, including the name of the business, may indicate that the caller is a debt collector and must also include any telephone numbers, a request to reply, and the names of the people who may receive your reply. You should verify both the debt collector and the debt before giving them any information. Debt collectors are required to give you their name and mailing address, the name of the creditor, and the amount of the debt within five days of first contacting you. Get additional verification by contacting the original lender to verify that they placed the debt with the debt collector who is contacting you. Debt collectors must also still follow the traditional rules. Debt collectors cannot call you during times that, they, that you specify as being inconvenient. They cannot threaten or harass you, use obscene language, or make false or misleading statements, or other unfair practices. Specifically, they cannot claim you will be arrested, or that your driver's license will be suspended, or that they will call your employer about your debt. Debt collecting procedures are enforced by both the federal and state governments. You may also sue a debt collector in state or federal court. There are several ways that you can report violations of these rules. Note that reporting violations does not absolve you of the debt. You can file a complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, with the Federal Trade Commission, and with your state attorney general. Thank you very much for your time. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would appreciate any suggestions, so please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.